Okay, here is the Cyber Battalion Generation Sideswipe. Again, before I do anything to it. Now, this one I plan to do something unique with. But I am going to get another one because I do want a Sunstreaker. And since they're supposed to be twins, it would make sense that they'd have the same model car of car for their own. But this I'm going to do something special with. And just so you see, it's, uh, this is how it looks. And it's pretty much the same as before, so just yeah, this. Now, first time I'm first time I'm transforming this, so let's see if the yeah. It's definitely got the same issues as the other one did. I just put the proper fitting right away. So yeah, it's definitely some type of mold issue with it. Yeah, see the doors on this on it's still kind of hold on. Got a press on those, so yeah, it's a mold issue, I guess. So, not nothing to worry about. Okay, so this is how this looks. Oh, let me raise this down. Alright, so this is how this looks. Now it's never been too clear on what it looks, what, what it's supposed to be, but it, to me it looks like it could be Mustang or a uh, new charger. New so depending on how you look at it, it can be either of those. And just so you can see how different they look from what I did before. So you can see I clearly did a lot before this one. And you can really see how plain this looks now. And you can see how I, how the new symbol really ma makes the difference on this one. So clearly by putting these labels on this one I made it Mustang. But since I say Charger, anyone care to guess what the special conversion is going to be? And I think that might be long enough for anyone who is actually, who's actually trying to guess. Now, for the finished one. Okay, here is my conversion. As you can see, I made a Transformers Dukes of Hazard car. And I went with the uh, because the mold was on, I kind of made it into a would be a 2010 charger. 
or more than one more modern chargers and it looks like it, it has the resemblance and here's the back painted it all up and put a nice auto reflective auto bottle license plate logo there and I got that from one of the toy hack sets um, trying to think which one was it hmm Might have been the Prowl set? No, it was the Ironhide set. And that's where I got this la that label from. Now these are model kit labels. Water slide model kit labels. And see that uh, this particular set was kind of on a clear backing so I ended up having to paint the white background for this to even show up properly it's not the best but it's good enough <laughs> silver door handle Venturds it's a nice orange Silver lights in the front. Now, for comparison, here is my side swipe. <laughs> you can see how much I, my the paint job altered the front. It really don't even look identical. Uh, too much. There's the back end. You can see how different, what the different details I put on there, man. And the set and the scale are of these are 132. So if you want to do it yourself, do something like this yourself. And I have turn signals here and over here. Wheels are silver. And I painted a gloss black over the windows. Alright. Now to transform him. Okay, here he is in robot mode. Now, as you can see, let me. All right, you can see here, nice toy hex print, uh, large logo on about logo on this side, and an old one and a flag from from another model kit. And I have it. I had left over. And you can see that the flag is down here and along with the label, some part of the label on his feet. Now, here and here are the gold label, head labels from the Ro Power of the Primes Rodimus Prime Toy Hack Slate. And right there and there. And here and here is gold paint. And 
And on the back, this is how it looks. And here's how he looks with sideswipe in more robot mode. Yeah, it definitely the head pieces up here definitely make it look like different characters. as well as the paint. Alright. So yeah, that's... And now I, may, I guess the name for him would be General. Yes, that's what I guess I named the auto button. Yeah, so that's about it. Uh, okay. Oh, what's that?